Let's take a look at the headlines of the dailies this morning. We'll kick off from the punch. Of course, Mary is here with me to do that together. Uh, let's see what we have here on the punch here. FGOK's allowance for senior staff. Uh, Labour may suspend strike. Uh, the annotation underneath that headline goes on to say that wage demand, a uh, wage award now for all caters of workers, says Bajabi Amila. VAT on diesel waived for six months. FG increases allowance to 35,000 naira. Labor rejects 25,000. OPS again wants against strike. Uh, there's a picture story there of uh, the president and the vice uh, during uh, the commemoration of the nation's 63rd anniversary yesterday. Uh, above the flag of the paper, FG issues first wholesale gas supply license under PIA. And uh, we can see their uh, devaluation. Gov government, government and banks make 2.2 trillion naira. Manufacturers lose 495 billion naira. Chicago academic record. Tinubu lawyers uh, kick as court orders release. Uh, Independence Day. APC berates PDP as opposition false. Tinubu speech. One dies, seven injured in Lagos. But next was really clash. Crash, uh, no plea again, agreements with Emir Philly. I'm talking about this uh, crash, Lagos Bottom Expressway. Also, there's also talk yesterday uh, of uh, the tanker explosion and 20 people losing their lives and all of that. And as much as we have warned and spoken about how it's dangerous, I remember the day we had a discussion here that if a tanker fell in front of your house and was dripping fuel and nobody was watching, how many of us would not want to go and try and scoop fuel yes. and all of that? It's, it's, it's a... As much as we are no, not excusing that behavior, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's really hard times for people. And so they always, that opportunity comes there. But you cannot, the risk is not worth it. That's just what we're saying. It's, it's never worth it. Yes, you might say, oh, uh, I can quickly go and get something. And then some people will make like four trips successfully, you know. And they say, ah, now God save me. Oh, that's the Nigerian thing. Now God save me. Oh. But why would you indulge in that? It is dangerous. And it's a well-known fact because... If anything happens, you're not paying with money, you're not paying with anything, you're paying with your life. life. It's absolutely not worth it. Exactly. Okay, let's take a look at the Vanguard newspaper now. And it has this 24 hours to nationwide strike. Federal government's meeting with NLC TUC ends in deadlock. Labor rejects government offers. Meeting reconvenes today. Orders state councils affiliates to ensure total compliance. Sets up zonal strike coordinating committees. Federal government offers 25,000 Naira wage award across board, which of course has since been reviewed. Yeah. This is a little uh, bit... Um... Ilebae uh, emerges winner of BB Ninja All-Stars. Uh, here we also see devaluation, banks raking 1.9 trillion Naira forex profit. And then uh, the riders there. Then Buhari never regretted his decisions as president coming from Garba Shehu. BUA reduces cement price to 3,500 naira per bag. You wanted to talk about that, yeah? That was yeah. exciting. That was exciting. Yes, uh, how much was the price before? 6,000 naira is what is the average price for a, a bag of cement. So you can get almost, for 6, 2, 6, 5, 6, 3, but it was mostly so that's 6, almost a 50% so decrease. A, so you can imagine why many people are excited, especially people who have... Build, you know, building uh, projects uh, right now. How is BUA it, doing that? So, you know, the, the thing now is this. For many people, there's this mm. belief that the cost of production is not as high as being projected. Okay. And then, of course, there's a particular company that is known for, you know, controlling market prices. Prices in that particular sector. And expecting every other person to, to rise yeah, along. Yeah. So, BUA is simply saying, you know what, we believe we can manage at this price and this is what we're pegging it at and that's it. What I think they need to do, though, is to incre increase their distributorship okay. because the other products are more accessible than But them. people will find a way, look, if, to if, get, to get it because exactly. distribu distribution will become much, uh, uh, you know, just spread yes. across because, I mean, when you can have it as almost a 50% yeah, uh, decrement, huge. very huge. And then, of course, uh, here we also have... Uh, uh, Rivers United to a 12 filant a, a uh, nil. That's for the CAF Confederation Cup. And so many other stories on this page, uh, the front page here. WK moves against Okada operations, open grazing in Abuja. Uh, Nigeria at 63. Governors can others preach peace, say countries' challenges are surmountable. And US court orders CSU to release Tinubu's academic. Uh, 
records to Atiku. You mentioned that earlier as well. Mm. All right. Okay, so let's head over to The Guardian. Uh, FG Dangos, 35,000 naira, which top up or, and orders as Labour revisits, revisits decision. Uh, that is, of course, spread across the other papers. And uh, my husband, not magician, says Uluremi as Adeliki orders exhort Nigerians. Mixed reactions, trail Tinubu's anniversary speech, post subsidy measures. Uh, BB Niger Crown goes to Lokoja as Ilebae bags 120 million uh, grand prize. Uh, Justice Minister distances a federal government from 50 billion naira plea by gain with Emefile. Uh, all of that on the front page of The Guardian. Mm. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, should we take a look at yeah, the, the Daily Times? Should we okay, just the Daily very Times fast? Has this. My Times with the late Sadana of Sokoto by his driver spoke exclusively to the Daily Times on that one. Uh, here we also see indefinite strike after FG Labour talks. Uh, today is decision day. Labour may call off proposed strike, may be the key word here. 25,000 naira wage increments now across board. 1.5 million indigent families to get 25,000 naira from October to December. As mentioned earlier, the 25,000 wage increment has been reviewed to 35,000 naira. And Nigerians were better off under British rule. Journalist witnessed October 1, 1960, uh, says, here we also have, unlike now, my husband, a rep for 10 years uh, without his own house, wife of independence era lawmaker. Uh, so many stories here. Three killed in Cocoa community as uh, tanker burns, the one you mentioned yeah. uh, earlier. And uh, huge gains for Nigeria as Kayamo visits ICAO and uh, CAE as well. Well, so many stories you can catch in the Daily Times and yeah. newspaper today. Just grab a copy of, of yeah. any of those papers yeah. to get more on the stories. Okay, that's it on the review of uh, headlines. So I look at the headlines of the dailies this morning. We'll take a time and I'll stay with us. We'll be back in a bit.